for my shop today. I thought with uh, the coming of uh, Valentine's Day, it might be interesting to make a little unique sculpture. Uh, table ornament, sort of. A little I love you type of uh, message ornament. And it looked cute on a table, possibly. Um, maybe along with a box of candy or something like that. Might be a nice little piece uh, for the season. Uh, I'm going to cut the top part out of uh, a piece of poplar I have here. It's about uh, a little over, well, it's about a half an inch probably, thick. And um, in the bottom, I'm going to cut out of a piece of paduk, which is a red uh, type of wood. Be a nice contrast for the top of the base. Uh, top of the uh, ornament. And um, we can leave it just at that after piecing it together, or we can try doing some sculpturing on it. And uh, we'll try doing that too, probably. Give it a little bit of uh, <clears throat> uniqueness. So let's get going with this, and we'll start by taping up the uh, blank for the arts themselves. Okay, we're going to throw on some more of our painter's tape here. And we'll use this to help the blade move along smoothly and also to allow us an area we can attach our pattern to. Okay piece of paper, put that down here, and take our pattern and cut it out. We'll cut it along the bottom flat so we don't have to cut this with the scroll saw. We'll save the rest of this for later on. So that will go on there, something like that, after we glue her down. Cold here last night, outside, temperature was, let's see, I think it was 12 when we got up this morning. And of course my cellar is unheated, so I'm sure the glue is quite cold. I got a heater down here and I've got it on, but it's going to take a while to get it up to speed. We're probably rummaging in around 45 degrees down here right now. Nice and brisk. Okay, we'll put our pattern down like that. We'll drill some entry holes and then we'll go over to the scroll saw and do some cutting. Okay, I've cut the hearts out now, and uh, I'm going to peel the pattern off. Before doing I just want that, you to notice that I have, uh, on the pattern, I have the hearts hugging each other tightly, and there are a few accent lines here 
which uh, just sort of suggests that um, another part of a heart is visible. You don't want to cut all the way through it because then everything will fall apart. Just these few accent lines tend to uh, make it uh, look as though the heart is available, even though it's not. It's, uh, it's just a partial line cut there. So <clears throat> you want to do that when you're, you're cutting out a pattern of this sort. I got a couple of here that I missed. I'm going to go back and do those before I peel this off. Okay, all of the lines have been cut, and uh, what we'll do now is just peel off the pattern. Okay, there we go. We've got it cut apart now. The, the accent lines are there. Not very visible right now because you got a lot of dust in them. But um, I'm going to clean this up and sand it. It'll look a lot better. Okay. Okay, for the base on this uh, project, we're going to use a little piece of Paduk here. Uh, it's two and a quarter by six inches long, about half an inch thick. And I'm going to take this pattern, and I've already cut the block to size, so all I really need is the lettering. I'll just cut this lettering off. along the bottom here, like that, and we'll put some tape on here too, of course, just like that, and we'll take our lettering and do it up with our half-frozen glue stick here. By the way, if you want this pattern, it's up on my Etsy store, and you can download it from there. And you'll not only get the pattern, but you'll also get a bunch of other patterns along with it, free. Um, pattern pack itself is something like 350, and it'll help support my channel here. So you'll be doing me a favor by purchasing that. And you'll also get a lot of free patterns with it. And of course you can use this to just simply cut out your figures. It makes it a lot easier. Alright, i got to drill out the entry holes for the lettering, of course. And then we'll just, uh, we'll be all set really because this is the size I'm going to use. And the actual ornament is going to go on the top. So let's go cut that out. I'll cut it out. Um, without putting it on screen. I don't think we need to do that. And uh, I'll be back when this is all done and we'll put this thing, start to put this together. Okay, I've cut out the lettering on the base. Came out pretty nice. Peel this tape off. This, uh, wood makes a nice contrast to the lighter poplar. Just peel the pattern off here. As I mentioned, you can get this pattern on my Etsy store. Just click the link down below. You'll get this along with a bunch of other patterns. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Of course, if you're Looking at this at some other time, you can get ready for Valentine's Day nice and early. Alright, we're going to take this over to the uh, bench sander and round over the edges to show you how I do that. Okay, we're at the bench sander here, and the way you round this over is you simply put it down, and as the belt spins, give it a little bit of a twist, and before you know it, you'll have yourself a nice little rounded edge. But also sand the top and bottom too. 
Okay, you can see how nicely the edges rounded out here. Got a little dust in the some of the crevices, but I'm gonna clean that up later anyways. But uh looks pretty good in terms of a, a nice smooth edge. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is clean up our uh heart sculptor. And we're also going to sculpt it too. Once again, we're going to go on the bench sander to do this. And it's just going to take a little bit of edging. Doesn't need a lot. Uh, you're pressing it against the belt as it spins. And it should work out nice and smooth in the end. Okay, we're back at the bench sander. What we want to do is use this to smooth out the cutout first. And then we're going to use the end here to do our little sculpting. Here we go. Okay, I rounded over a lot of this on the bench sander, but, and I only did the front part, I'm going to leave the back uh, completely flat. What we want to do now is run it over the uh, mop sander and smooth out all this stuff and clean it up a little bit. So, here we go. Okay, we got both pieces completely done now. All we need to do is add a little glue at the bottom. Don't need quite a bit there, just a little bit. Wipe it up. And the excess. And then I'll just sort of eyeball it centering it in a piece like that. There you go. Take a couple of spring clamps. And clamp this down. And we'll just let it sit there for a while and dry. We'll come back and put a little shiny finish on it later on. Okay. The glue is dried pretty good on there. 
I take some of this Rust-Oleum. This is a clear. Let me see if it's any in here. I guess there is. And I will use the satin one. This is uh, Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Clear Satin. Give this thing a nice little spray. Should bring out the lines and give it a nice sheen to it. Okay, we got so let that dry now a little while and then we'll uh, take a look at the finished product and we'll be all done. Okay, we got the finished product here now. It's all been nicely sprayed with a lacquer and looks pretty good. A little bit different kind of sculpture than you'd find. And it's yours. You did it yourself. Well, if you like this video, please click the like button down below. And click the subscribe button too. See about future things that come up. And hope you like this. Thank you very much for watching.